Hello friends. I come across many times many stories, uh, interesting stories while reading Speaking Tree, and I read uh, this story uh, about enlightened crow. Before transforming into into an enlightened and divine crow, Kag Busundi had spent numerous past lives. in distress according to ram charitmans in one of his previous lives gusandi had developed arrogance in his disposition and had at times insulted vishnu and his own spiritual guru accumulating bad karma by the grace of his guru and shiva who cursed him many rebirths so that gusandi could realize his mistakes and also gave him boon that minimize the sorrow involved every rebirth gusundi changed his way of thinking and selected the path of devotional love over misdeed gusundi had turned to spiritual practice after contemplating on his faults he had coupled patience and perseverance with god remembrance meditation and guidance from his mentors it is believed that During the course of his spiritual evolution, Busundi had to undergo rebirth numerous times. His difficult life experiences reflect the fact that our initial experience on the path of spirituality may not be easy, even in scenarios where God's grace may reduce the amount of karmic cleansing required. One may still have to uh, face some suffering. Busundi's story reveals that. often our imperfections are forgiven in spiritual practice the busundi had been devoted to the divine in the beginning his devotion had been bound with hatred for selected persons in spite of his initial shortcomings his chanting of uh, ram nama the name of rama had transformed him into a divine being the bhakti yoga he had become an enlightened crow means through bhakti yoga he transformed himself into an enlightened crow from our limited understanding of kak busundi's kak means crow spiritual evolution we can say that busundi was forgiven by rama we can also say that busundi reached spiritual plane where forgiveness was not necessary in fact he had transcended virtues rama had blessed him with so much spiritual and philosophical proficiency that he not only became one of the, uh, one of the first preachers of the ramayana but also became the spiritual guru of garuda vishnu's vehicle and many people too moreover busundi has been blessed with immortality and everlasting devotion for rama busundi's meeting with a spiritual guru may be seen as a combined act of grace by rama and shiva who are both divine bhakti may make us eligible for kripa god's grace alternatively bhakti may at times be a result of grace from guru or god spiritual guidance gleaned from discourses by saints comprehension of scriptures and our learning experiences in places of worship all have elements of divine grace uh, embedded within them for spiritual aspirants busundi's remarkable story reflects the importance of realizing our own mistakes in life and the beneficial effects that chanting and god remembrance can have on our disposition seeking divine forgiveness like prayer is sattvic karma it may nullify many of our uh, bad karmas from the past moreover repentance has the potential to connect us to the supreme power by the time we gain god realization all malevolence and the karmic negativities are expected to cease expected to end in due course we get transported from goodness to beyond goodness our remembrance of god eliminates all negative thought processes that may have created a major separation between our soul and god this is where the karmic cycle breaks and we recognize our own divinity
finally we gain permanent proximity to god fulfilling the aim of devotional spirituality thanks